I will give the, uh, the English version of what the President of Mushtaraka Vanli Semal, Janab Mahana Abdurrahim Qureshi, have just said. That today the Mushtaraka Vanli Semal have met under the leadership of Presidentship of Mahana Abdurrahim Qureshi Sahab. And it was decided that first of all, we condemn the killing of the four police people by the terrorists in Surya Pet. There is no justification whatsoever for killing of those four brave police personnel who died in the line of duty. All of us pay homage to the great sacrifice they have given in neutralizing those two wanted people who were wanted by different states. Secondly, today it was decided that we also condemn the killings of 20 people in the Andhra Pradesh state. That killing also has no justification. Those people, if they were smugglers, they should have been apprehended. They should have been arrested. Thirdly, the main focus was today on the encounter which took place yesterday of those five undertile prisoners who were facing grievous charges and the committee felt the Mushtarak Amal is of the opinion after having heard the lawyer Mr. Azim Abdul Azim that the criminal two criminal cases were at closing stages and within another month the case would have been closed and the judgment would have come and also one of the accused had written a letter, his father has written a letter to the Chief Justice and to the Human Rights that he fears threat to his life. In writing this was given. And the second point which Mr. Abdul Azim have brought to our notice is that on 6th of April, that is on Monday, one of the accused have given a letter to the Honorable Judge asking him to be transferred to Hyderabad, either Chellapalli Jail or Chinchalpura. So the public prosecutor had said that he will file a counter, that is today. It is a known fact that in the then Andhra Pradesh state, many such stage managed encounter killings have taken place. This is also a stage managed, as rightly said by Mr. Abdul Rahim Qureshi, that this is a cold blooded murder of five hundred tribes. India as a country has shown to the whole world when Mumbai attack took place in 26-11, one dreaded terrorist who was responsible for killing hundreds of Indians Ajmal Kasab was caught. But as a country we show to the whole world that Ajmal Kasab would get a fair trial. Ajmal Kasab got a fair trial. Our courts of law gave him a fair trial as an accused. He was given the opportunity to appeal. His conviction was upheld. The whole world noticed that how India as a country, despite facing murder and mayhem in Mumbai for two days, we have given that dreaded person who every one of us hates. My question now is, yes, those boys were facing grave criminal charges. The courts were about to give in a month judgment on, their, on that case. And we would like to know from the government that what is the opinion of the government? 
what is the opinion of this government because we have unconditionally condemned then and now the killings of the four policemen who have laid down their lives against this terrorist fighting this terrorist will the government order a cbi inquiry which we are demanding or an inquiry by a sitting high court judge we want the truth to come out because if you allow this extra judicial killings this will lead to anarchy and mayhem in our society if people at large close their eyes to such killings that saying that no they were facing grievous charges then we don't require courts we don't require civil procedure at all or criminal procedure the police cannot be allowed to become judge and jury for rule of law to prevail we demand from this government that a cbi inquiry should be ordered if they are not agreeable to cbi inquiry let, let a sitting high court judge do an inquiry i tell you why because with the permission of our of our president you must remember that in 2008 after makkah masjid bomb blast police firing took place sitting a retired high court judge was appointed the president in his capacity as a lawyer went there and argued in front of that retired judge that that police firing which took place after makkah masjid bomb blast was wrong uncalled for that report is still yet to see the light of the day this is how the governments buy time so that we forget we don't forget we still remember those people who died in the police firing on the streets of shali banda let me also remind you that in the month of june or july in arsh mahal in arsh mahal in kishanbagh two people were killed in police firing what has happened to that inquiry we don't know now we are seeing this so it is in the interest of justice in the interest to uphold the rule of law it is the demand of each and every one of every right thinking person living in society that an independent inquiry must be ordered to know the true facts and we would request we would like to know that yes the police fraternity must, must be very angry they must be having tears in their eyes we sympathize with you we are with you we salute your sacrifice of those four police officers but what is this that will your tears be wiped out if these five people are bound off people will always remember the great sacrifice of those five four police people but what about this killing when the trial was at its very last stages so that is why this committee has decided that under the presidency of mr abdul rahim qureshi we would meet the honorable chief minister put forward our demands to him we will also meet the honorable governor and we will see what the response of the government would be we would like to know what the what the governor in his capacity will do because we will not only be making a representation for yesterday's encounter but also for that encounter which took place in andhra pradesh because the governor is a governor of both the states and that is why this is what has been decided and we will we have asked for the time from the chief minister's office as soon we hope that we get the time as quickly as possible and we'll go and meet the chief minister and after making this representation all avenues are open democratic avenues are open and this is what i will i like to say and just to brief you the names of the esteemed people who have come to this meeting is 
مولا اکبر نظام الدین صاحب جعفر پاشا صاحب نیر صاحب صفی مدنی صاحب اول پہنچ اتاری صاحب سجاد پاشا صاحب رحم الدین انساری صاحب ہمارے آغا صاحب اور خادری صاحب ہم ان کے غم کو سمجھ سکتے بٹ ہم آج جو ڈیسائیڈ کرے آپ کے سامنے رہے میں نے سمجھتا کہ بی سی کمیشن کی ہیرنگ سا زیادہ ہو جائیں گا سٹیچ کرے سا ہوتا وہ نیشنل بی سی کمیشن ہے سٹیٹ بی سی کمیشن کا نہیں ہے That is why, Umar Farooq sahab, we are asking for an independent inquiry. And only an independent inquiry will establish all the facts. But on the face of it, 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 it looks uh, a stage-managed, cold-blooded killing. And whether we are right or wrong, in the interest of justice, an independent inquiry is required. It is a revenge killing, isn't it? Because that boy was charged for a grievous offence. As explained by Abdul Azim Sahab, the trial is at its very last stages. The judgment would have come very soon. Umar Farooq Sahab, when I use this word in the interest of justice, in the interest of justice, inquiry has to be done. And it all depends on what the government does. If the government is interested, to ensure that justice should be done, which is their constitutional duty. That is why we have separation of powers. That is why we have a right to free trial. And that is why in a democracy, the people will go out and exercise their right to vote for anyone. How explicit do you want me to be? Wohi baat, wohi baat Abdul Azim sahab bata chukhe hai, ke usme se jo accused hai, unnu ek letter likhe, unke walid, بچائے ہمن رائٹ چھے مہینے پہلے چھے مہینے پہلے چھے مہینے پہلے لکھے بجائے کہ میرے خطرہ ہے اور کورٹ میں پیر کے دن چھے تاریخ کے دن وہ کورٹ سے لکھے دیئے کہ میرا ٹرانسپر کرو کیونکہ دو سال سے ورنگل میں ہے دوسرے دو سال سے ورنگل میں ہے تو پی پی نے کہا کہ ہم کاؤنٹر فائل کریں گے 